Paul, the senior from Los Angeles. Nice arm. And a big pop up front on first down. Getting the call was Levon. Kids and Pettis come to the near side of the formation. Mickens in motion through the formation. And Browning back to throw on a screen up the middle. And this is good for Husky first down. Dwayne Washington on the delay. Gathers it in and gallops across into Utah State Territory. Well, when you have a young offensive line, you know the defense is going to peel, the, peel their ears back and bring pressure. Utah State does, so they just go with the screen to their leading receiver. And away they go. Dwayne Washington. Freshman. Settles in. Steps up. Checks down. Throws near side. And the man, again, coming out of the backfield was Washington. This time, Utah State gets to him. Daniel Gray, the junior from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, made the tackle but lost his hat. Browning loads up to the left side. Fakes the toss that side. Then rolls out to the near side. Beautifully diagrammed play. Making the catch was Daryl Daniels, the 6'4 tight end, and he is deep into Utah State territory. Keep an eye on Kyle Fackel, the defensive end. He rushes all the way down. Some at the top of your screen. It's a simple naked play. That means you fake the run. You Browning spots a man coming free over the middle to the 40-yard line. Dante Pettis makes the catch, and quickly the Huskies back to the line of scrimmage. Browning again sets up, double clutches, throws far side, a little back shoulder flip over there. Contact made, but no whistle. Braden Lenius, the intended receiver. Browning has dealt to five different receivers, Yogi. He steps back, hard rush, avoids green, throws on the run, and throws it out of bounds. Back in. Uh, no gain here, maybe even a loss of... One or two on the play as Gap Vigil from Plain City, Utah. The snaps. Browning has been elusive. He has just been hauled down once for a sack. This time he unloads as he gets hit and completes a pass over the shoulder to Daryl Daniels to the far sideline. And Browning knew he was going to get a lick, Yogi, and still got rid of it. Coleman Shelton gets beat at the left tackle. And in the quarterback position, sometimes you just got to wear it. And he absolutely did. And again, puts it exactly the only spot he should. They go power with Dwayne Washington, the lone man in the backfield. Lindquist will roll, little option, fakes the pitch, but it's picked off. Utah State picks off the pitch. Here they go all the way to the goal line. What a turn of events that was as John Trell Rockamore steps up, scoops the ball off the turf and goes 99 yards the other way. How about that? how the tide can change. They run option right. Linkwist tries to fake and then he's gonna go and it just the ball just gets stripped. A really nice job by the defensive line of Utah State. Rockamore does the rest, nobody even near him, but. To begin things here at his own 13 yard line. They will go to the ground, will the Huskies to Miles Gaskin and across the, in the slot to his left. They go to Gaskin, he threads his way up the middle, he's across the 50 and into Utah State Territory. Tonight following the Northern Arizona, second and five. Browning the handoff, and again Gaskin picks his way across the line of scrimmage and may have gained a yard on the play. Browning on a hard count, trying to draw Utah State offsides, can't, throws the ball on fourth down to the far side, back shoulder catch, but out of bounds. But it's made the catch, but was out of bounds. So Utah State will take. And the very prolific Chucky Keaton at the controls of quarterback.